Hello and good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Let me show you a quick representation of how to use the thesis manager and how to create your thesis uh, using thesis manager. The first thing you do is go to palosha.net and uh, you can have a quick registration. Okay, it will take not more than a few seconds. You can also log in using your Facebook account. So if you don't want to give it a password. So let's start. First, click the login and log into the system, and you will see this type of panel. So let me show you in English. And in, we have various type of panels. So just click the thesis panel and create new thesis and uh, fill this information. My I will fill it quickly. My master thesis university name. and give the city name where this university is located and then country okay and institute or board in some countries they are called institute and in some countries uh, they are called uh, board of advanced studies and research something like that so just give whatever is relevant to you And the department name, mm, I will give you. Yeah, I will give the department of chemistry and the main branch if you have. And the level, if you are writing the PhD thesis, select the PhD. And the language which you want, uh, the language of thesis, I will select English. And currently uh, we have a standard format we are we will add uh, other formats very soon so just uh, uh, leave this like that and click uh, create new okay so we have created our thesis so let's see we have uh, entered nothing uh, let's see how the thesis is looking like so click the create pdf and you will see like this the name of the country uh, university name the institute name the department and the logo we didn't have uh, added yet uh, for this you need to request the uh, admin of the site and uh, doctor of philosophy dissertations name uh, etc the date is not fixed yet okay it's looking like this and here is the jury page okay uh, when you go to the exam after your thesis uh, you need to fill this information and then the statement and the abstract and abstract in the local language uh, and the preface and here is a quick table of contents this is empty a list of figures list of tables uh, symbol and abbreviation they are empty and we have no chapter yet so this is a quick look how the this will be looking like so let's check the student information they are uh, the same okay let's add some date for thesis Add your supervisor info. Uh, let me select my supervisor, and if you have a co supervisor, you can select. Uh, if it's not in the list, you can click and you can add here. Okay, you can add your supervisor from here, and you can click select your head of department. It should not be in the list, so when you start the first time, uh, you should add the new author here. It will also add to your author list, and the person will be in the list. Okay, so let me select my head of department. And then the jury, jury uh, who will come to the thesis exam. So let me select some jury members. This was my jury member. And another one was my supervisor. And then uh, Ali Hakan. Okay, I had three juries and eight. If the jury is not in the list, you can also add uh, by clicking this button. Okay, so let's save it and provide a title to your thesis. So this is the title of my thesis, and I will copy also here. Uh, in some universities or some countries, you need uh, to write the title in both local language and English language. So I will post paste in both. And then a statement. Normally, you can copy this one. 
and it can change uh, university university so you can check your university's format and then a local abstract so this will be my local okay uh, i'm writing my thesis in english in the local language uh, it will not be required so i will not select this one and i will write some english abstract Let me copy this, make one paragraph, and then another paragraph. Okay, and then some keywords. Mm, okay. Chemistry, organic synthesis, mm. okay, and then preface you can write your things to whatever you can write uh, it's like an acknowledgement also so you can add that part also thanks to my super etc you can fill this also this paragraph and save and have a quick look how this is looking like now okay we still have don't have a logo so we need to request the error one and uh, this is our jury jury page okay and place for signature and then statement page and the student need to sign here this is the abstract page and this is the preface and here is the table of content but nothing here so let's see how to add uh, configure quickly first we need to add a chapter uh, chapter one okay I will make a chapter that's enough to show okay now this is my chapter one one and I will add some text okay now I need some headings and subheadings so I will say uh, introduction about what about chemistry so I will say what is chemistry and I will make this heading one and chemistry has many many branches and Okay, so I will make this heading two just to show you how the heading is looking like. This is heading two. Okay, and this is just a quick text. So if I check the PDF, uh, and first you need to go to table of contents. So you see uh, the intro page chapter one is in uh, heading one, and this is below 1.1, and then this is 1.1.1. Uh, okay, and here is the chapter one okay looking like this uh, automatically numbers numbered okay let's add a uh, figure quickly uh, at this part here is figures and there's no figure here so I will add a figure uh, let's add this one or this one okay and here give a caption that will appear below the figure I will say this is my figure uh, belong to okay there you have this setting and forget about this one uh, other user will not see this just for admin and the figure will be landscape and it will be one column okay just don't touch this add new figure when you go to the list uh, you will see one figure okay so what you need to do uh, if you are using Mozilla Firefox or uh, Chrome, you just drag and drop and it will automatically create a link. I'm using Safari, so if you are using Safari, select this one and click the link and uh, just say 
finger one or anything and paste the link here. But we will suggest to use uh, Mozilla Firefox or uh, Google Chrome. So you will not need to do this step. It will automatically create the link when you just drop, ring and drop here. Okay, and this is chapter one. Don't touch this part. And save it. And when you see the create PDF, first thing you should see is uh, the list of figures. Uh, this is the figure 1.1. The caption and it appears on page one so if you click it will take you to this part this is page uh, figure one and it automatically numbered okay uh, now let's add a table add a table okay so give a name i will say table one uh, table content uh, okay create a table here uh, three rows two column is okay and none. don't touch any part and let's see did put some data here data. and here provide the um, caption for the table okay and click there so I want to put my table here. Again, if you are using Google Chrome or Mozilla, you it will automatically create a link, but I'm using uh, Safari. So you need to create a link manually, select this and write any name. I will say table one and paste here and okay. Created a link, save. And now let's see how our table of tables is looking like this is table so it also appears here list of tables and list of figures and now in our list of tables we have a table okay and this is the table and here is the uh, caption okay this is just a basic form of table uh, we will see in later in detail how to format the tables and now Let's add a bibliography. Uh, so in bibliography we have nothing. So you can uh, paste. Okay, you can create manually or alternatively uh, click the bibliography button, and you will be diverted to a search engine. Okay, so let me search something for organic chemistry. And you can select the year if you want to search. Okay, and we have various uh, papers, so let me uh, select uh, this one and this one. And I will say uh, select, add select to my library. Okay, so they are selected to my library. Now refresh this page and go to bibliography for nothing. So you, what you can do is click your all bibliography and there are my all references. Okay. So I can add some at this part. Just drag and drop. And again, if you are using Mozilla Firefox and or Google Chrome, just drag and drop is enough. But if you are using Safari, you need to create the link manually. So you know here and you just say tip one or whatever name you like. Uh, paste in here, click OK and save. And let's see how our PDF is looking like now. Okay, so nice, nicely formatted pieces in few minutes. Okay. And you see, this is uh, colored in yellow, and it is formatted automatically in the last. Okay, so this is how this manager makes your life easy. Uh, let's add some abbreviations also, because we, we also need some abbreviations. So I will say, for example, this organic chemistry selected, and just highlight, highlight, and save. Okay. 
and let me make one other uh, let's say and I want to abbreviate this one also and make the color yellow and save so when you click the create PDF button it will automatically ask you uh, to abbreviate this one so I will say hmm, okay actually we did this opposite okay let me try hmm, yes we did this opposite but let's see what can and yes we did this opposite uh, let's don't do this okay don't make color in the bracket first I create some abbreviations and make them yellow by marker okay and save and then when you click the create PDF you will see them forget about them okay we need to correct this part also we will remove them I'm sorry it should be here Save. So when you see, click again, create PDF. Okay, actually this was a mistake, but let's see. Let's add something. Okay, so if we click the create PDF and see if we have abbreviations. And here they come to the list of abbreviations. Okay, so this is how uh, this manager make your life easy. We will make more detailed videos uh, about the software and how it works.